welcome and welcome back to my channel how is everyone doing i'm doing well and i thank god for this day so if this is your first time uh tuning in kindly consider subscribing i want to thank all my loyal subscribers for always tuning in again and again but one thing that i want to urge you is to please press on that uh bell there's a bell there so when you press on that bell uh, you'll always get a notification from me whenever I post a video. Yeah, so please go ahead and click on that bell. So let's get into the video. So today's menu, we want to cook some white rice. Yeah, I've gotten uh, so many people asking me how well do we cook uh, white rice. So if you check my, video, my channel, you'll realize that I've done two different videos. There's one that I did for pilau and there's another one for vegetable rice so if you haven't watched those two kindly please uh, after this go and check them out so because of the requests that i've gotten from my subscribers i'll go ahead and do a plain uh, rice video today so i've gotten many questions from my subscribers asking me how well and how best can they make white rice yeah because some of them make rice and it comes out sticky and mushy so today I just want to practically show you uh, and explain to you what you need to do to avoid mushy and sticky rice so keep on watching so for today this is the rice that I'm going to use it's one of my favorite brands yeah so this is the Dawat the blue one so for this particular rice uh, when you want to cook you put one cup of rice and two and a quarter cups of water yeah for this particular brand so let's get into cooking okay i've used this kind this cup for measuring my rice so as i said earlier this particular rice i'll need uh two and a quarter cups of water because i've used one cup of rice so we'll measure it that is one Two and a quarter. So once you put your water like that, what we need to do right now is to add just a little bit of oil. So since I'm just using one cup of rice, I'll just put one tablespoon of oil. So as I wanted to explain what makes our rice mushy, uh, it's because at this point, if you put too much oil, it's going to interfere with your rice. So just put uh, just a little oil that will make it not to be sticky. So at this point, go ahead and put your salt. So I'll use one and a half to be enough for this particular ratio of rice so what i have here is my rice i've already washed it as you can see it's still wet yeah so there are people who don't wash their rice but for me i wash my rice uh simply because i want to remove the starch in the rice yeah so you can tell me in the comment section do you normally just cook your rice straight from the packet or do you wash it like me <laughs> let me know please comment so today, because you are making a simple white rice, what you do is that uh, we'll wait for the water to boil and then I'll put in my already washed rice. Yeah, so as you can see, the water is almost boiling. So I'll give it some time and then I'll put in my rice. Right now that my water is boiling, I'll just go ahead and put in my rice. Yeah, so... At this point, just put in the rice, the whole of it. So once you put in your rice like that, uh, what you are going to do is that uh, we are going to cover it. So as I promised that I'll tell you what happens and what makes your rice sticky. So what uh, is the most important right now is to wait for this rice to boil 
when the heat is high. So use high heat until the water reduces. So I'm going to cover it and leave it on high heat. Yeah, so this is what I've done. I've covered my uh, cooking pot with the lid. So I'll keep on checking on it. So our rice has been boiling for a while. Let's check on it so that we know when to reduce the heat. So as you can see, uh, the water is still a lot. So I still cover it and wait for a few minutes. So now that our rice has been boiling, let's check. Is it ready? Yeah, so at this point is when you can now reduce your heat. You see the water has gone down. Yeah, so I'll just reduce my heat, then I cover it and let it boil slowly until it's ready. Then we'll check on it. So with the rice, you still have to keep on checking. So let's check again. So as you can see, uh, it, still, it, it still has water. So as I was explaining earlier on, uh, that uh, we don't want to make mushy rice. So avoid stirring your rice. You just leave it the way it is until the water uh, subsides. Yeah, so we'll still cover it. Don't interfere with your rice. Otherwise, it's going to be sticky and mushy. So right now, uh, let's do a final check. So if you want to know your rice is ready, you can use your ears. <laughs> You will be able to hear if the water is still boiling and another way is to use your fork. So at this point, please don't use a muiko, a tuna koroga. In, in Kenya we say to koroga. No, you don't use your muiko to stir the rice. You use the fork. Just do this with the fork. So as you can hear, uh, you can still hear some noise from the water. So my rice needs like two to three minutes. But as you can see, it has come out well one one. Yeah, so let me just cover it until it's ready. Yeah, so now uh, let's see. So when you want to know that your rice is ready, you use this fork. When you hear that it's sticking, the rice is almost sticking, you know that it's ready. And also there's no harm in testing your rice. Yeah, it's ready, so I'll just turn it off. Yeah, so let me serve it and we'll see how it is. So this is the final view of our rice. Just look at the way it is. Eh? It's 1-1. One, one. Here in Kenya we say 1-1 one, one because it has come out... Uh, single grain single grain so it's not mushy it's not uh sticky it has come out one one which is good please note that not all rice will use uh, one cup of rice to two and a quarter cups of water just get to know the kind of rice you normally use that those types that will require the one cup of uh, rice to two cups of water and there are others which will require one cup of rice to one and a three quarter cups of water so it all depends with the brand that you use yeah so you can try out with one one to two if it works out right then you stick to it but if you find that it has too much water then you reduce it to one to one and three quarter cups of water yeah so water measurements is very, very important for you to have good rice. So as you can see, our rice looks very nice. So please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and click on that share button. Yeah, so let's agree that from today, henceforth, we are not going to be eating sticky rice <laughs> or mushy rice. This is the kind of rice that you need to cook in your house and serve it to your family members or your friends. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.